G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. We're out at Lake Windermere, just on the outskirts of Mudgee. I'm out here with my dad today and uh, we're going to be fishing the lake for a few hours and see what we can find. Now the lake's stocked with uh, yellow belly, golden perch, Amari cod, catfish and I think silver perch. So we're going to have a bit of a fun day and just explore and see what we can find. Should be alright dad? Yeah, it should be great. Should be a good day. Yeah. Nice to get away from the city for a day. Bring back a few memories, actually. Yeah, Lovely we, spot. we spent a lot of time out here, as, uh, especially me as a kid, and, and Dad bringing me up here and fishing these areas. So anyway, we're going to uh, get ourselves organised and see what we can find. Right day, absolutely beautiful. A little, little overcast. A little overcast, yeah. but nice. Let's hope the fish are biting. Yeah, hope so. <laughs> okay, tip number one to be successful fishing these freshwater lakes. Nice light outfit. Now that's a two to four kilo outfit matched up with a, a Stratic 2500. Beautiful little reel. And a good selection of deep diving lures. Now we're after golden perch, Murray cod. They're ambush predators. These are the lures you need to use. So have a selection of these in various colors and you're a chance of catching some good fish. The other tip, a good pair of polarized sunnies are a must when you're fishing these freshwater lakes. This part of Windermere is quite tricky to walk around the foreshore. All these rocks are really loose. We're both finding it pretty tricky. So we're going to head around further and get onto some flatter country and, uh, and see if we can do any good around there. So this first section looks really good, but it's very tricky to fish. Oh well there's fish here, that's good. That's the second one I've seen. So hopefully by just exploring this area here we walk along and we find a few fish. Hey? Again he was a good sized fish, he was about that size. I reckon two or three kilo, just in here he was. So just come down here and put your lure out there dad. Different colour, might do the job.
Hold up, we've had a uh, tough session this end of the dam, that's for sure. Mm. The dam wall hasn't produced. We've seen a few fish and had a few follows, but maybe the water's cooler down here than up the other end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down to Limestone Creek. Uh, it's a little bit further down the dam and hopefully uh, we can find a few fish there. Okay, we spent a few hours working the, the dam wall, both uh, left and right. Now what we've done, we've come down to Limestone Creek. It's another good destination to, uh, to fish land-based. You can park your car just up on the road. Oh, just got a hit. Bugger, there he is. Just come in. I've seen him follow that lure right in then. Let's see if I can, he just swam out over here. So let's see if I can get him to Yep, got one on. Oh, dropped him. Bugger me. Oh, well, that's fishing, I suppose. That was about my third cast down here at Limestone Creek, and I've just dropped a fish. Let's just see if he's uh, still keen. There might be a few more out there. I think he felt the hooks, that one. Interesting to get around these boulders down here. I've seen a few fish along this edge. Uh, I've seen a big Murray cod back there under a tree and a, and a nice golden, but very lethargic. They're, they're not real keen on coming out and they sort of follow your lure out real slow and then just turn back and go under the log. So. Maybe when I get up amongst these rocks here, we, we might get a, a better result. Well, at last, I've picked a fish out of the snag just here, just sitting, and I managed to drop a lure down and swim it right past him. Took a fair bit of effort to, uh, to get him to take it, but a beautiful golden perch. Here he comes. Ho, 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 look at that. All the way along here I've seen fish. I must have seen so far at least half a dozen, I reckon, Murray, Murray cod. And now I've got this beautiful golden. He sucked my lure right down oh happy days look at that Woo! <laughs> yeah, beautiful fish I've got to be happy with that. That is an absolute Windermere classic. All right, we'll get this lure out of his mouth and get him back in the drink. Okay, I've got another big golden on here. This is my second golden. Here he comes. Oh, oh he's gone. 
I think I might have just worked them out. They're actually just laying down here in the weed. And what I'm doing with this lure, it's a little Tilson and it's a neutral buoyancy. So you can swim it down right near close to them and then it'll just sit there. And then what I'm doing is just twitching it when the fish comes over towards it and they're, uh, I'm watching them suck it in. It's quite amazing. So great fishing, really good fishing. So a little Tilson, an old lure, but a goodie. I've got a golden down here looking at my lure. Here he comes. Oh, he lost interest there. He's just sitting down in front of me. See if I can just um, stir him up. Bit a little bit of warmth this afternoon. May have turned him on a little bit. Here he comes. He's having a little look. Yep, yep, got him. Yo, beauty. Another beautiful golden perch here out on Lake Windermere. Late afternoon and the, and the temperature I think might have just come up a little bit and the fish have got a little bit more aggressive. There you go, look at that. Lovely fish. All right, we'll just get this hook out and we'll get him back in the water. And there he goes. He's gone, guys. <laughs> there he goes. He fell in a crevice here and I thought I could get him up and, uh, and show you one more time. But uh, no, he's gone. He come off the lure, so that's a good result and he goes back to swim and fight another day. I've got a real good golden perch on here. Sight casting again in the shallows this late afternoon. How nice is this? They're real lethargic. It's quite interesting. They're not putting up a lot of fight and they're coming up to the lures so slow and then just engulfing them. And you, and it's, you know, you're watching the whole thing. It's magic fishing, but it's, it's frustrating fishing. Well, there you have it, a beautiful golden perch, Lake Windermere. Let's get him back in the water. What a fantastic fish. Well, there you have it, guys, Lake Windermere. What a fantastic spot. Now, guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the hook and the cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the water next week. Cheers. I'd like to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.